What's up guys, welcome back to a new vlog. Man, it's been a while. Gosh, I suck at putting up vlogs. Every time I'm like, I'm gonna do more vlogs. And then I don't. Now, welcome to my house. This is uh, the day after Thanksgiving. It's the 27th, which it's my mom's birthday. So happy birthday, mom. You better give her a call. A nice sunny day in Salt Lake, but let me tell you what, don't be fooled. It is extremely cold outside and uh, I've got a lot going on so I'm like I'm gonna grab the vlog camera and get this thing rolling so I've got a few things in the works I think I'm gonna start by getting a workout in which I'm doing cardio 20 minutes of cardio every day when I'm at the gym and then I'm gonna stop by at the hush warehouse and see how the Black Friday stuff looks and how the sale is going so I will tell you guys about our Black Friday sale here in a bit you guys check this out got the junk door it's probably not bright enough. Bam! Oh, under cabinet lighting. <laughs> Just some cheapy, sticky LED lights, but uh, I think they turn out pretty cool and they're really cool at night. Let me go ahead and get my pre-workout, guys. We extended the line of supplements with Mountain Ops, the Hush Signature Series, that is, and the lemonade flavor. So you can get uh, lemonade in Ignite, which we've already had. Yeti, which is my favorite for pre-workout, and then they also added Enduro, which is a cardio-enhancing drink, non-caffeinated, doesn't have the stimulants. And then check this out, these are my favorite, keep a whole box in my truck. These are the um, energy shots, energy and focus shots in lemonade flavor, those are all part of the Hush Signature Series, and right now going on for their Black Friday sale with the code HUSH, it's 30% off site-wide and free shipping. Whew, right out here. Guys, funny story, just seeing my truck right there reminded me of the dream I had last night. No wonder I kind of woke up in a bad mood. Um, this truck, this is the Hush truck. My friend Davey at Power Cult Performance did a bunch of um, exterior body work on it, did the spray. I got tires from him and he helped me out a whole bunch to get this thing together. So this is a truck I did an engine swap, then had to rebuild the transmission then got it home and it was leaking oil like crazy and I had a cardboard piece on my concrete just sitting there so it wouldn't ruin my concrete. And just recently, my buddy Ty Banks pulled that whole thing off of there and fixed the oil pan leak. So this thing should be money. I'll tell you what, if I can go back and trade it, I would have just uh, junked the thing and sold it. But I've got thousands of dollars into this puppy and uh, it's good to go now. But in my dream, this truck, I started it and oil and fluids were like leaking out of every freaking corner. <laughs> it's funny when you see something and it kind of like is a trigger and can remind you of something. But yeah, I'm driving the Tundra. I've been driving this for a while now. I love it. All right, we made it to the shop, guys. This is where we, um, Embroider print and fulfill all the orders for hush. I thought I'd come in here to give you guys a look at some of the new apparel including This sweet hoodie one of my favorites now and uh, Tell you guys about our Black Friday deals because by the time you see this It'll still be going and then cuz I'm gonna put this up on Sunday and then Monday will be cyber Monday So anyways, let's go in check it out if you guys are wanting to get yourself some hush gear or even outfitted gear or you want to get some stuff as a gift. Guys, I am just asking you and creating a little urgency to order as soon as possible because one, inventory has been so difficult for us to get and two, shipping is just gonna be a complete disaster. It already is. So order quickly, mostly because items are not lasting and everything is going quick. So I'm gonna walk you through some of the stuff that Hush has to offer and we'll start with hoodies. So this is a new hoodie. This is a the block, um, I think we're calling this the forest camo. The block forest camo hoodie, it's right on the homepage of GetHushin.com. And then if you guys are wanting any Hunter Orange hoodies, you can see how low inventory is. We got a whole bunch of these ones. These are new, they're like a gray hoodie with uh, the icon, we call this the icon logo. Did the fireball flag design on a couple different styles. So there's army green. There's a navy, and there's this uh, pigment black. Guys, this is literally one of my favorite new hoodies. It's super soft. It's a different material than this one. All kinds of t-shirts, the flag t-shirts. 
are available in multiple colors. I'm really digging this light color. I'm gonna snag one of those while I'm here. Tons of camouflage ones, shed hunting ones, a whole bunch of new stuff. I'm gonna go show you some of the hats. Here's the problem with hats. They're just nearly impossible to get, so a lot of them you'll see are out. So um, hop online to get the ones that are in stock. The ones that we could get, we just stocked deep and we got a lot of them. So this, this is my favorite five panel hat. The fireable flag tee and olive, or not the tee, the hat. So we got olive and black and gray. They're like a duck color, Carhartt color, a bunch of midnight black ones. Some orange ones are still in stock, so you can get those as well. So yeah, lots of stuff. And then there's also a lot of knickknacks. I don't know if you guys know this, but we sell Hush Arrow Veins and Wraps. So their logo, they're the AA hybrid so you get 40 veins in a pack we sell the veins so you guys can build your own custom arrows like myself I got the, the disco inferno arrows or whatever now that it's cold you need a fire everybody should have one of these in your backpack at least a small one they come in two sizes five ounce and two ounce we have plenty of those in stock as well a couple women's stuff so finally we added some new ladies if you guys have uh a lady in your life you'd like to get some or if you're just a, a woman watching my video we got some new stuff so this is a incredibly soft like unreal soft like a lightweight hoodie we also have the icon logo on a lady's like i don't know what color you call this pinkish burgundy-ish and then a women's t-shirt and then these two new hats are new on the website and i am taking one each for myself because well this is my style and then just a reminder, we got bugle tubes, uh, Yeti cups, water bottles, all kinds of accessories on the Hush website that maybe some of you guys don't know that we had. Well, I'm gonna put a link to the Get Hush and store in the description box. Hey, hey, we already got the lights on, whoops. Oh man, it's a great place to walk into, isn't it? <laughs> gonna do a little home workout I'm tired of going to the gym I'm tired of wearing a dumb mask while we work out. so i'm gonna work out at the home gym good thing i got the free motion be doing some warm-ups getting some music on the old pandora and do myself a home workout but um one thing i wanted to share with you guys i think is pretty crazy well it's not crazy because i've always thought about it but i started asking people on my instagram about dog chews a lot of elk sheds as you guys know i got plenty of them plenty in the house and the garage i started asking people if they would buy a dog chew from me if i cut some up so guess what i'm gonna probably do tonight is go buy a saw and a sander start chopping up some dog chews and just sell them to people I'm trying to earn some extra money to help my parents remodel their house. So their house is just beat up from all the kids and now a whole nother generation of grandkids. We beat the heck out of the house. Heck, some of these antlers that I still have are guilty of dinging and ruining all their sheetrock. Anyways, I'm trying to find ways to earn extra money. I don't want to say raise because I want to earn it. Um, so I'm going to do it through selling dog chews and selling little antlers. So when I go get a saw, I'll, uh, I'll bring you guys with me and uh, we'll start selling dog chews. What the heck, would you guys buy one? Let me know in the comments. My mind is completely sidetracked to uh, getting these dog chews started. So I went to Home Depot instead, got a bandsaw and a sander. These guys, I got Ryobi, not the best brand, but should work for what I'm doing. Um, I'm gonna set them right in here and start cutting up. Well, one thing's for sure, I have no shortage of antlers. Let me show you some of these I, I set aside. So these are some browns that are busted and just small anyways, but they'd make perfect uh, chews. And then I have a whole bunch of hard whites. These are the lefts. I had them all separated, lefts and rights. But these lefts, um, a lot of these are solid whites, like hard whites. And from my research, it seems like everybody does uh, hard whites or browns. Not many people sell the, like a chalk antler. So like that's in great condition. I can split that or I can cut it into chunks. 
I have a whole bunch that are just busted up anyways. Like I'm not gonna do anything. So I'm gonna chop them. I'm gonna take those three out there, get the saw uh, set up and start cutting these things. The sad part is I know this is gonna make a gigantic mess cutting up antlers and especially sanding antlers in here. And it's probably gonna stink. But I got lots of space in here, so why not do it where I got the room and I got a nice warm roof over my head. So there's the belt sander, and this is the nine inch band saw. All right, well I know you guys can't tell, but I have already been back to Home Depot and back because the last band saw I opened clearly was sold before at some point and then returned missing the owner's manual the allen wrenches and the actual blade to the machine so i had to go back and get another one waste of time we're gonna see how it does cutting up an elk antler i think most dog shoes are like sections they'll cut like tines off they'll do split they'll do whole but mostly the points the main beam they're all going to get cut off and then some of them are going to be split right down the middle I knew this was gonna be a stinky job. I should probably put on a mask, which I think I have one right, right here somewhere. But that literally cut through that so quickly with like no effort at all. But this is what the dogs really chew for is to get that soft uh, marrow in the middle. So I could sell that as is just like that, just an antler tine. And then uh, cut off the second tine and then I'll make like a base probably like six to eight inches. And then maybe I'll split some right down the middle and uh, sell them like that. But anyways, I'm gonna be busy here for a while. I'll give you guys a little update in a minute. But this is crazy. I would have never guessed I would take a bunch of my sheds one day and cut them up because I love them all so much. But yeah, these small ones, they're good to go. Whew, it is almost midnight. It's 11.30, that's almost midnight. That's. The latest I've stayed up in a while, guys. I'm getting old, I don't stay up late like I used to, but I cut up a whole bunch of dog chews. Let me show you what we got. So after doing some research, I learned there's sizes and splits. Splits are when they split it right down the center, like so. The, the dogs can get to the bone marrow a little easier. These are called jumbo splits. They're about eight, seven to nine inches. These are jumbo whole pieces, so it's the entire piece. And again, I'm gonna sand these down so they're nice and smooth. These would be a jumbo large piece. These would be a medium whole piece. So it's just a whole antler. And then there's tines. I sold them as extra large, large, medium, and small. And people are ordering them as is. I'll just sand them down. And I'll go ahead and they can just go ahead and give them to their dog and they can chew them up just like that. I'm gonna be fully transparent with you guys. I just took over a thousand dollars in order in just a few hours. Um, and there's way more in my DMs to go through. Way too many for me to do. So I have a lot of sanding to do. I have a lot of packaging and shipping to do. But basically I had people send an order through Instagram. I would just write it down. Can't show you addresses, but like so and uh, write down what they want and if they paid through Venmo or PayPal and then I'd mark it paid. It's a big mess, I already had to clean up and vacuum that and it's gonna be even more of a mess when I go to sand it so I'm probably gonna do that outside but good little side hustle. Like I said, I'm just trying to earn some money to help my parents out remodel their house. So pretty cool little gig, got to interact with a ton of people. They're shipping literally from the East Coast to the West Coast so thank you everyone who ordered. If anybody from YouTube wants to order dog chews, for now, please go to Instagram. If you don't have Instagram, just grab the app. If you want, you can uh, leave a comment. If you do want to order right here, maybe I can get a hold of you on the phone or through email. But if you do want a dog chew, put a comment in the comment section. You guys got to see pretty much a day in the life. But anyways, guys, thank you again from the shop. I appreciate you guys watching. If you don't want to order anything or you can't afford to shop if you just want to help me out please subscribe to this channel that helps a ton other than that guys hope you guys have a good night we'll see you on the next video